So now in this video, I thought it'd be fun to take my new portable oscilloscope and measure the voltage that my body is producing. And actually, I'm absorbing electromagnetic fields from around me, and that is creating a voltage. So we got the uh, red alligator clip clipped to a jumper that I'm touching, and the uh, black clip is going to the negative rail there. You can see we have the uh, cable up there and so to make this look better let's actually speed up the scroll there and this is actually a lot better view of what's going on so you can see every more than 10 milliseconds we are peaking either to uh, the top or to the bottom or you can uh, look at it as starting there and moving there so looks like about a little bit more than every 10 milliseconds and then five milliseconds you can see that that's per division so one two three so it looks like a little bit more than every 15 milliseconds it takes for a wave now we can also look we can now it's paused it's showing uh, 60 hertz right there which is how often the current changes direction in the household power supply so so it looks like it's bouncing around let's see if we can find a speed so it looks like the faster you go the more erratic the uh, frequency reading gets and uh, there we go that one looks like it's picking up the 60 hertz uh, pretty good. So that's what I'm providing. That's why sometimes when I'm wiring a transistor, because I'm barely providing any current, I can't power anything like this. But I touch a transistor or other amplifier, and sometimes you see it go, uh, you know, start lighting up an LED or something when it's not supposed to. That's because I can provide enough of a signal for an amplifier to start responding to this voltage change right there uh, 60 times a second at uh, 60 Hertz so in any case that's about it just thought I would do a quick uh, bonus video right there uh, measuring with this hope you enjoyed thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video